everyone and welcome to week eight of our Beavers County sessions. I'm Laura and this is Nicola and we're going to be talking through a few games and a bit of an activity. Hi everyone, so our first game today is Simon Says. So I'm sure you all know the rules of Simon Says but just go through them again. If Simon Says to do something like touch your head then you do it. If I don't say Simon Says or if I say a different name then don't touch your head because otherwise you'll be out. Right then, Simon says, stretch really tall, touch the ceiling. Can you make it? Simon says, point to the left. Simon says, jump up and down. Simon says, touch your toes. Can you reach them? Simon says, wiggle about. Get wide. Did I catch any of you out with that one? All right, we'll have another go. Make sure you're listening really carefully. Simon says, star jumps. Simon says, pull a funny face. Simon says, uh, point to the right. Simon says, make yourself really tall again. Simon says, sway in the breeze. And star jumps. Did I catch any of you out with that one? Maybe. Right, let's go. Simon says, Stretch out your legs, stretch them as far as you can. Simon says, jump up and down. Simon says, run up and down as fast as you can. Simon says, point to the ceiling. Simon says, make yourself as wide as possible. And show us a cheesy grin. Oh, I don't think any of you fell for it that time. Well done, everyone. Okay, so Beavers, we are going to carry on doing our Book Readers Activity Badge. Hopefully you've read a couple of books. Don't worry if you haven't. But if you have, make sure that you're telling your leader so that they can make sure they can mark it down so that you've got your badge book. So one of the last activities that we need to do to achieve this badge is to make a book cover. So what you guys are going to need is some paper and some colouring pens or pencils. You're also going to need to choose a book. So this can either be uh, your favourite book, one of the books that you've recently read, or if you want, you could make up a story. But you're going to have to redecorate a book cover to go with that story or that book. So for example, I'm going to choose Elmer the Patchwork Elephant. It's a book I used to read when I was very young with my mum. And it was one of my favourites. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to change it slightly so that it's a bit more of my imagination as well, which you guys can definitely do. So to do that, I'm going to get my piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half so it looks a bit like a book cover. Like so. I'm then going to do a book cover on the front so I can either do it exactly how the book cover it is on my actual book or I can make it my own design. It's perfectly up to you guys. And then on the back, I'm going to write a blurb for my book as well. So if you guys want to pause the video, do that activity and we'll see you in a few minutes. Brilliant. Welcome back to Beavers. Hopefully you've all designed your book cover. So here is mine. I decided to do Elmer and the patchwork dinosaur. So you can see that I've done if you can see it, you can see that you have done a patchwork dinosaur down here, and that would be the front cover of my made up story to do with Elmer. I haven't done a blurb just yet, I haven't had time, but I'll finish that off and I'll put it on the Facebook page to show everyone, and I'm going to share my leader as well so I can get the badge. So, hopefully, you all enjoyed that activity, and hopefully, there'll be lots of photos that we can be able to see from it. Cool. All right, everyone, thank you for joining us today. I hope you had a nice time doing all of our fun activities and games. Just to let you know that next week we won't have a video for you because on the Zoom sessions, so that's Tuesday at 4.30, we're having somebody come and do a cartoon drawing workshop. 
So if that sounds like something you'd want to do, make sure to get the link from the county. Thanks for coming along today, guys. Bye.